Hello guys, in this class I would like to say very very important topic, sites of pulse. I said the pulse normal rate and uh, what is the importance of checking pulse especially when you are at hospital, we have discussed already. And in this class I would like to show very very important pictures, the sites of pulse because usually people uh, see only pulse in the radial area. If radial area if pulse is not found then they say that patient is dead. But there are different sites are there to analyze the heart rate or the pulse rate because there are situations if you get a fracture here, how can you check? If you get a fracture here, you cannot analyze the radial pulse. Maybe it is with a plaster cast or it is with a POP or it is with some bandage. How can you check other places for checking the pulse? In this class, I would like to show with the images. Definitely you will understand what are the areas you can analyze the pulse if it is not found in one different sites. Let's go on to the topic. The first site which we can see is radial pulse. Yes, you can see the fingers where you are seeing and usually people say hold the hand like this and completely touch like this. You just keep the two fingers on the radial area, radial uh, bone side. Here, we we'll just hold it and you can feel the pulse rate. This is a common sight usually doctors do and usually we analyze in the normal day to day life with the two days. And if radial pulse is not uh, palpable or it is difficult to find out or we already maybe they have a fracture or some kind of bandage, then what are the other sides? Let's go on to the next slide. There's a brachial. There's a brachial side. You can see where you can analyze. It is in the elbow region. It is in the elbow region where you have a large brachial artery and you can easily palpate the pulse. This is very easy even for children especially. Yes. So even there are a lot of times where the patients may have the places where usually here IV cannula. So you may not get chance to find out a brachial artery then you can go with carotid pulse. You can find out with carotid pulse. Usually for some patients, this carotid artery is more visible when they have some chronic heart conditions or when they have some kind of um, aneurysms. In that cases, they may have a palpable carotid artery. So it is just below the neck. You need to just visible on either sides and you can find out here where you can palpate a very large artery. So that's a carotid site and if carotid artery is not palpable, there are few patients where we can evaluate even with the femoral artery. Where femoral artery, suppose a patient is already burned patient and he has a throughout the body maybe burns and you want to keep some cannula, you want to transfer some blood. In that cases, you can analyze a femoral artery. It is a very easy thing. You can easily palpable also. It is easily palpable. And next side is popliteal. It is a back of the knee. It's a back of the knee. We can uh, just uh, analyze where vessels are uh, seen. Let the person lie down and you can palpate very easily popliteal area. And next slide is dorsalis pedis you can see on anterior aspect of the foot you can evaluate dorsalis pedis this is also a one of the site where you don't have any other access for getting a uh, pulse rate in that case we can use even the dorsalis pedis you can see it's just on the anterior aspect of the upper portion you can use these two fingers and you can analyze the dorsalis pedis pulse and popliteal sorry posterior tibial this is the the toe side normally the bone alignment is tibia so on the tibial aspect posterior side back side you can evaluate the site of pulse let's call it as uh, posterior tibial so these are the different sites of the pulse you can use it for evaluating the heart rate. Thank you for watching. If you really like my class, please do subscribe.